Now, it's June 24th, 2022. Um, Tia Frio, 1975, is here. His boss went on vacation, didn't want to pay him again. That's his story, not mine. Um, so whatever on that. Um, and I'm watching, uh, ABC. I don't normally watch The View, but I was waiting for the 12 o'clock news to start. And as I start it, it says breaking news. It says the Supreme Court overturns Roe versus Roe v. Wade. Now, in actuality, I have no idea what that means. Don't know the backstory. Don't know backlight. Don't know the enlightened. Don't know anything. What I am curious about is with this overturning of Roe v. Wade, I hear how the media has taken it and made it into some huge thing. But now for my particular situation, is this supposed to like mean that now it, like they um, annulled the original, like, cause I know somewhere in like the people that care about the people they have toilet paper with. I mean, like some people like really did marry for the correct things. Yeah. It's, just not in my situation. So I'm just curious. So is this like the version of like annulment? So like the marriage didn't count kind of a thing because you could just put an order of two on that. I see a whole lot of people upset. And then I see things like Hillary Clinton making uh, mention of it. Uh, and her words make absolutely no sense. Um, I'm in the middle of a video. Just give me a minute. So, um, this is what this looks like. And again, I say this no matter where you stand on the issue. Uh, Dr. Kathy, just underscore what you just said. Explain that for our viewers who are watching right now. I know that you work at the Planned Parenthood in Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock. And somebody has a sign, because I'm watching the signs, um, and someone's holding up a sign about arrest, and then it says MOFO, M-O-F-O. -O. I have no idea what that four-letter kiop word means. Little Rock Family Planning, and you, you just said moments ago that you have now begun to call up women to tell them that they're going to have to make alternate plans and for many of them that means six seven eight hour drives ahead to get to other states yeah just just and, and that you know one way and um, that you know just the expense involved and just the logistics involved and so for me is this like abort mission like to the problem zone, I'm just curious. Like, I, it gets really confusing when there's some real life stuff going on. I'm really an RH negative. I really am important because some things happen in my life that are really significant that I know does not happen to the average person. Um, also noticed, um, in my thoughts, um, the high school, I went to three high schools. Two of the three high schools had something called a home room. Now in head of ministry type of a thing, I find that very interesting because it's very Germanic, I feel, to orient, center, and direct the day. I rather liked it when we had a uniform and we had a homeroom. So this way I showed up to homeroom and they had the opportunity to address us as the future with current events that they, as the adults and professors in a profession of teaching, could have taught us a quick synopsis of world events that would have been really important in our lives, in our daily, whatever. But they didn't. Whatever. It was um, one 
in started some TV station, which I don't even know what the heck happened with that, uh, in the homeroom after Bell. Then we had to, like, watch a monitor, and it was, like, a bunch of the student, like, people who, I don't know how they got involved in that, got on the television. And then there was, because it, like, it, it was, uh, again, whatever. And then there was um, the third high school, which had no homeroom whatsoever. And it's, um, like, I went there and I'm like, I just, now I have to dress myself and try to figure out what a teenager wears in this whatever. And I also, it was the place where I had gone from second grade to eighth grade with all these people. And then they just disappeared. There was one face that I really recognized. Actually, two. It was Carlson and Geronimo Chelius. Other than that, no idea who any of these people were. There were so few people there junior year. Um, and then it was having to figure out what to wear, what everybody else looked like, make sure that Linda and Lou, who were having trouble in the business, had money to buy me clothes. Um, the uniform room was just easier. But there was no homeroom. It was the bus drops you off or you walk and you just wait around for the bell, for the first whatever, which was weird. Um, but that's what they were used to. And like there was no consistency amongst the three learning institutions or facilities that could have enriched my adulthood. But here we are. You know, I'm thinking of it on a very personal level, just what it's going to take for any one person to manage the logistics of this. It's just going to be a very complicated process that, that it shouldn't be. Dr. Janet Cathy, an OBGYN at a Planned Parenthood um, location in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's, in fact, the only abortion clinic in that state describing how they're already calling women to say you're going to have to find other plans. Um, she said dealing on this at a very personal level uh, with women. Now, this is like trying to share a family issue, but have topics for newsroom, topics for the public to have some active participation. And now it's been stretched out and so horribly misconstrued. Now the public has one need or they're going to vote one way, which just puts more nails in the coffin for what I need not getting done. It's a real, it's a real shit show, honestly. Women this morning. It Here's the sign with the mofo. to what the House Speaker just said about women in this country have less freedom than their mothers, that this is a slap in the face, an insult to women about making their own decisions for their reproductive futures. Absolutely. I mean... For me? I mean, senior year, there was a... It was probably the best option ever presented in my entire life with consistency. We went to school, we met for breakfast, we separated, we were both in our uniforms for like inspection checks of one another, eyewitness for each other's account. And then we went off to our separate learning, learning institutions within the same geographical area and whatever. Only thing that had consistency or traction and actually attraction and actually was built like I would want my sons built. And that I attribute to his mother and father. But again, in my situation, Look, I have two daughters uh, who are 13 and 10, and the idea that they will grow up with 
less rights than I have at the age of 49 by a type like I've had uh, uh, a belief with the, you know, that I... Because at some point, someone is going to ask, like, where did this headline originally stem from? Like, what was on the minute report of possibilities in the future that around, like, Nixon error or within that life frame and that build up into this set of circumstances what could have been on the horizon at what needed to be corrected without a shadow of a doubt for Shadow Corp. that play out here right in front of the Supreme Court because the moment that this decision came out it was read out here on this loudspeaker and you have this polarized divide represented we're on one side you had cheers applause tears of joy on the other you had immense frustration I want to give you a look at what are we are seeing behind us right now on one side here you have people saying Roe was Ill illegitimate you say this decision is wrong on the other side you have people celebrating this we've also seen the police presence start to grow my whole thing is, is like, do they really know the whole situation? Like, are they rooting for this? I mean, like, where are they just on, like, the surface level that the public, like, if they didn't know the home territory story and the back story about what happened to me, like, are they, is there, because I know people know. Oh. And then here, because, like, I mean, somebody built their political campaigns out of this. They built their presidency out of this, their executives, their administration. I mean, like, there's a lot that goes into this. So I'm not quite sure why, in order to save themselves, like, you want to argue the topics? Make sure I get to the relationship I deserve and not forced or lost in the riptide of someone's political campaign for legitimacy. Here's what Hillary had to say. Today's Supreme Court opinion will live in infamy as they step backwards for women's rights and human rights. I have no idea what that means. She's the professional. She's got an inside track. What do I know? Nobody talks to me. Nobody's come to try to help me out of the situation. They just made it worse. Supreme Court opinion will live in... In fact, they made it worse by arm's length transaction as well. Nobody involved me. They involved my parents, they involved the two problems, and then they involved my children. And they've left me out of it completely, like a piece of seaweed, just, or a boat, just pulled out to sea, crashed up against some rocks, everybody's watching the fucking disaster unraveling some Harry Carry, but I don't really see anything getting done. Infamy as a step backward for women's rights and for human rights here in the U.S., which takes me back to Cecilia Vega, uh, our chief White House correspondent. Cecilia, you covered uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign going into... And it's so interesting because Harry, he's living in California, isn't he? To carry his legacy and stuff forward. I'm just curious. Why would you carry somebody else's child's problems forward? Why wouldn't it just have been rectified in the moment it presented itself at RH negative and really important bloodhound and blood kin? 
Not saying that him and I are related in any way, but just saying. An RH negative breeding female. Top priority. Since the majority of the world is RH negative. It's like an endangered species. And then you compare it with a healthy population. There's a reason why they're here. And there's a reason why in UFO terms, they need to be respected and protected. But I haven't seen that level of care since I arrived. I mean, spots of it early on in some attempt, but then it has just gone off rails really bad. When I look back, And every day, it's just another missed opportunity to do the right thing. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterosa. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.